Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up email forwarding for Namecheap so that you can essentially create an email address for your domain name and check that email in an existing inbox such as Gmail in the case of this video. So if that's something that you're interested in learning how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. And I'm gonna first start out by logging into my Namecheap account here. We're on the dashboard. And if we just go to our domain list, um, you can work with any of your domains. I'm just gonna pick here site1.xyz, that's my domain name. And on this page right here, the domain tab, if you scroll down to the uh, redirect email, section here all we have to do is add a forwarder okay and the alias they only want the uh the thing that comes before the at sign so let's say i want to create an email address called tony at site1.xyz i would just type in tony here and i want to forward this email mail that i get sent to to this address to an existing inbox so that's going to be um, tony nicholas arizona at gmail.com so I just have to click on this green check mark over here and in order to create that redirect. So I now have um, essentially an email address, an email account called Tony at site1.xyz. So let's go ahead and send an email to that email address and see what happens. So I have um, my Tony Teaches Tech email inbox here for Gmail and I wanna send an email to Tony at site one.xyz. We'll just say subject is um, hello, Tony, something like that. And then, hey, how are you? Okay. Now, uh, just so we can see this in real time, I'm going to make this screen about half the size. And over here, as you can see, I have my email inbox for Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. So if this works correctly, I should be able to send this email address to Tony at site1.xyz and the email should pop up in my Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com inbox because of the redirect forwarding that we just send up set up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's send the email and the message has been sent. It should pop up over here any second now and maybe we'll have to help it along by uh, refreshing the page. And uh, we don't say anything just yet. Uh, let's keep on refreshing, refreshing, refreshing until that shows up and we're not seeing anything. So let's make sure that we did this correctly. I just want to double check that we have everything set up. So uh, redirect email Tony to Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. That's the inbox that we're in Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. We'll refresh the page one more time and uh, maybe it popped up over here. There it is. So it just took a little bit to get over here. Uh, we have our email from Tony at Tony Teaches Tech to Tony, uh, where is it? Tony at site1.xyz. And um, there it is. Hey, how are you? There's a subject. That's how it works. The one caveat with this is that you cannot reply as Tony at site1.xyz. You can only receive email. So when I reply here, the only option is to reply as Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. Um, there, I do have some other emails set up here, but you can't reply at site1.xyz because of the fact that it's just an email forward. Um, if if you're interested in learning how to be able to reply as that email address, I have some other videos that may be of use to you over here. So check those out and let me know if you have any questions about this topic in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.